and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. I'm joined as always by my urban exploring squad of Charla, Ricky, and Shulk. Ryan Dunban and Millie are waiting in the back. When we last left off, we explored the bottom level of Alchemoth. Let's head up to the top and see what awaits us up there. I do have to say that of the two kind of distinct areas of the top and bottom levels of Alchemoth, I'm a bigger fan of the bottom level because it's kind of spread out and even-ish. But uh, up here is a little bit different. Uh, there are people up here, I swear, uh, but they're a little bit more difficult to find and sometimes it takes a little bit extra work to find them. So we're gonna start by heading back to the entrance of the Imperial Palace. You can tell because there's a landmark here. This is Malfico Road. We have been here before, but first we have Imperial Guards to talk to. Yes. How are you doing? My captain is really something. When the siren first went off, I got fairly agitated, but he remained perfectly calm. It really showed me the difference between us. Well, I'll never be captain, and also my hip hurts. Yes. Mike, oh, he just says the same thing. Back to the hip injury. All right, let's head over here. You know what? We'll, we'll leave that guy for another time. Uh, there is a quest over here. You might have seen it from the giant exclamation points on our map. Uh, there is an Alchemoth citizen with a quest for me. I write music in my spare time. I write and play entirely original love songs. Don't you think that's so trendy? You're doing it for chicks, aren't you? I've just got a new girlfriend, so I'd like to craft a new instrument. I would recommend against that, to be honest with you. You might want to just stick to the classics when it comes to the instruments. That's right, you guessed it. I don't have enough materials. How did I know? But we get Material Quest 4 for this one. A resident doesn't have enough materials to make his favorite musical instrument that he's making. I thought it was supposed to be a new one. Collect the materials for him. He needs two Lexos beards from Racti Lexos in uh, Eris C. For this, we get 22,000 gold. I think I've only killed one. I don't think it dropped a beard for me. You look like such gentle souls, so I decided to try and ask you. I need two Lexos beards from some Racti Lexos. I'll consider it. The siren. I've never heard such an ugly sound. Oh, it ruined my poor love song that you haven't written because you don't have the instrument yet. Just what's happening on Prison Island? The horrible din of the siren is simply unbearable. That's a word you don't hear too often. Din. Me. Means the sound. What did the siren go off for? There were some explosions above Eris Sea just now too. Is something attacking us? Doesn't seem that way. It's bothering my boyfriend too. We've never heard the siren go off before, only during drills. But the Imperial Guard don't look like they're just practicing. Yeah, I don't think they actually are. But we can head all the way down here. This is the main escalator back down to the main entrance. We are going to avoid that. And instead, we're going to talk to Teelin here. How you doing, Teelin? Uh, Teelin? will require you having Shulk along if you're trying to get the comments. Where could they be? The textbook doesn't have many details at all. Hey, could you help me with something? When I grow up, I want to be a, I want to become a scientist. Right now, I'm trying to find out about this particular bug. It's really cool. Ooh, sound like something wrong. Tell Ricky, tell Ricky. I've heard that after they hatch, they glow for a little bit. But I've only seen pictures of it in my textbook. That's why I want to see it at least once for real. A glowing insect? The only species I know like that would be the gold caterpillar. Could that be what you're after? Yeah, that's it. A gold caterpillar. It's, it, it inhabits the lower Bionis, but I have no idea where. As it turns out, Colony 9, which is probably why Shulk knows all about it. I thought you might know because you're Holmes and all. Racist. But we get looking for gold bugs. Find some bugs for a hopeful youth for a few hours immediately after hatching. This bug will shine gold. For whatever reason, he needs nine of them. Uh, technically, they're from Tefra Cave. That's right. But, you know, just outside Colony 9. Uh, 
5,100 gold, 1,950 experience, and fall defense 2 for that? Sure, why not? Do I have 9 on me already? Thanks! I heard that they really, they like really dark and damp places, but my stupid textbook just says they're on Lower Bionis. Easy peasy, Hero Pond, take care of it. Let's see just what the Hero Pond can do. Maybe Charla fall in love with Ricky after she sees. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Ricky. Yeah. She seems to have the eyes for somebody else. The glowing insect, I mean the gold caterpillar, it seems clear that it's found somewhere on Lower Bionis. I'm sure it's somewhere that any Homs would know about. Yeah, you guys all know the same areas and all that good stuff, don't you? So that's Teelan. Teelan wants a lot of bugs. I'll end up trading for the rest, I am sure. How you doing, citizen? All these quests, you pretty much just need to get here in order to get them. How's things? How's things? Please don't tell me you're working for the Imperial Palace. You're not? Oh, thank Bionis. I've been ordered to do something. I have to study monsters, ecology, and then subjugate them. But it's just impossible for me. I'm just far too weak. This is my first job, too. I thought it was just going to be a normal office job, you know? But for this, we get Monster Quest 1, Part 1. A resident wants help with her monster ecology research. Defeat five cruel crews. Pagools at Aerith Sea. For this, we get 16,000 gold, which makes Teelan's request look like nothing, because it was. Really? You'll go and defeat the monsters for me? Oh, I'm really grateful. Go forth and vanquish five crews Pagools for great justice. Tee <laughs> I always wanted to say that. For, for great justice. Hey, look, she's got another quest for us. She did just give us part one, after all. It wasn't just Cruz Pagools that I had to survey, unfortunately. That's surprisingly hard to say. If you're going to go to Eresi anyway, you could help me again. I haven't surveyed birds since I was at school, but that was just a tiny little bird that all kids had to survey. I guess this time I have to do it properly. <sighs> And now we have to, to kill three Aerith Ansels, uh, which is, I guess, what survey is a euphemism for. It means kill them. 14,500 gold for killing three Ansels here in Aerith Sea. Oh, I'm so grateful. Please defeat three Aerith Ansels. They love to come up to people because they want to play. So kill them on the spot. So don't disappoint them, okay? You know what happens when I kill them, right? When I defeat them? They don't faint, they don't become tame. They die. They fade away into nothingness. Actually, this isn't just the Cruz Pagools and Aerith Ansels I need to survey. One more, just one more, just one last tiny subjugation. This is honestly the last thing. Please, please? I don't know, you won't even tell me your name. But... We need to now kill two Siconia Echidnos at Eresi. For that, we get 17,000 gold. Hey, I'm not bad at this whole manipulating thing. What? No, I didn't say anything. Don't be so paranoid. Yeah, she's manipulating us, but we would have done it nonetheless. Right, this time the target is to defeat two Siconia Echidnos. It's only a couple, so it'll be easy. What do you have to say after all that? You want to know more about monsters and their behavior? Okay, this time I'll tell you something to help you battle. Lure flying enemies. That's it. Yeah, it doesn't help me too much. It's hard to hit flying enemies with close range attacks. Also, if you defeat them, they may drop their loot out of reach. That's why it's always best to try and lure them first. And I don't use lure all that much. Maybe I should for the flying enemies, but... Usually I just count on, like, Charlotte to shoot them down, and then she just takes forever doing it. You can totally swim in this. Well, walk around in it. A lot of times it's good if you're trying to get a shortcut going. But, as you can see, there are more people out here. What is it? An Imperial Guard. Did you know that Nebulae self-destruct? I am fully aware of that, yes. Want to know how to stop it? Finish them off with a chain attack when their health is low. That's one way. Could just kill them quick, though. Try to identify if enemies used physical or ether-based attacks. This is one of the keys to victory. Yes. Somebody else told me that, too. Yes. Are you all raising the levels of the arts you have learned? If not, then go and increase their levels right away. 
Battling becomes much easier with just that, you know? Yeah, I've been yeah. keeping up. Let me give you some advice. Start with the arts that you most often use. I feel the need to point out once again, this is the third or fourth big town, depending on if you count, like, Colony 6, right? It's Colony 9, Colony 6, if you count it, Frontier Village, and now Alchemoth. And this is what they're telling me. Lately, I hear rumors. A certain guard in the Imperial Palace is slacking off, but they say that he has a reason for doing so. What is it? Slacking off isn't quite right. Apparently, something is really bothering the poor chap. Something went badly wrong on a routine subjugation mission. Apparently, because of him, his friend was injured quite badly. That's apparently what has been getting him down. Yeah, I know something similar that happened to somebody. She's not in my party right now, though, so... We can talk about her. It was Melia! It was all her fault, I swear. Oh, now I feel bad. It wasn't her fault. Alright, so I saw somebody else down here. Oh, saw a couple people down here. No, there was this guy. This is the one that I wanted to talk to. Oh, there were a couple of them as well. Lots of people just hanging out in Alchemoth. Was this the reason the Emperor decreed a status of high alert? Did the Emperor know that we would come under attack? No, he didn't. But that's all you have to say right now. Male? Female? I can't, I can't quite. We're going to go with male. Some monsters will attack you if you go close to them. Then their kindred monsters see what's going on and join in. In that situation, it's best to lure them away. What is it? To do that, target one monster in the pack and select lure. But watch out. Some monsters act as a group and you'll end up luring them all. So, I can think of a canon reason why they're acting this way. Didn't I talk to you? I did. You know, they're kind of looking at Homs and going, oh lesser beings here let me give you introductory tips but honestly from a gameplay standpoint it doesn't quite make sense for them to be telling me this kind of stuff at this point you can record your progress of collectibles in the collectopedia fill it in by category and location to get some nice items yeah i need to get more of the collectibles you can also use collectibles when trading with people if you have a lot of extra items definitely try to trade them Tried to trade them? Is that what I said? Try to trade them. Yeah, I'm aware. Is there anybody in there? I don't see anybody. So we're going to avoid it. Uh, I call these the U-shaped uh, balconies. <laughs> Realize is hanging out here. Want to play? I do. I want to join the Imperial Guard. I'll become an Imperial Guard and, uh, and protect my mom. And Merlis gets added to the chart. I don't know what I'm doing, really. So I gotta make it up as I go along. Say, do you think you could teach me something? Maybe. Uh, I call these the U-shaped areas because they're U-shaped. Uh, but there are two of them kind of linked up. So it's kind of like an infinity symbol if you stretch it out a bit. And you don't let it close on itself. That's why I go with U-shaped. It's easier. All right, now there should be. Oh, there were a couple people over here I still wanted to talk to too. This place, like the upper part, like I said, it's a little bit more difficult getting around. There were you two here. Oh, what? Merlies, what are you running off to? Should probably make it uh, twelve o'clock as a result of that. All right, Merlies should be back there. There he goes. All right, let's talk to you two. The affinity between those you travel with is incredibly important. Your level of affinity with others can have various effects. Like if maybe this was the second town. I don't know. What is it? Having a high affinity with your allies may will make battling easier. That's how important it is. Like they're so vague. They don't talk about it. I can give you specifics. Oh, I wonder what that is. I can see lots of flashes of lights in the sky. Me. How many lights do you see? Oh, I wonder... Oh, same thing. Alright, so that's it for here. Let's move on. Uh, now, this is back to where the uh, escalator is. That's how big this top area is. Uh, let's head down, talk to a couple people around here. And then we'll start heading out. 
<laughs> yeah, this is all one side. Technically, this is like a quarter of the area. Was that noise the siren? Why would the siren go off? But I have no fear. The greatest emperor and his children are here for us. Well, the, the, one of the children's still here. I, I have the other one kind of with me at all times, so she's only half here. I have not a single worry as long as those three are here for us. Uh, somebody did point out that uh, canon-wise and story-wise, I don't think it's actually listed here. And I have to actually think about that. See if it's actually listed anywhere here. I don't think it is. Uh, but Melia is... Yeah, it doesn't actually show anything for her. Uh, she's 88 years old. Um, yeah... She's been here a long time. We'll talk to you sitting down, otherwise I might forget. There are lots of different types of monsters, it seems. Some hunt by sound, some react to ether, some attack you if they see you. This would be great for like the second town. I heard that you can see what type of monster is by targeting it. Yes, you can. What's happening? <laughs> Not much, apparently. You're just having a casual conversation. And that's all he has to say about that. All right, so. This is kind of the end here. This is a good location to keep in mind, though, because uh, somebody that is rather difficult to find, if you don't know where he is, he's here, but um, only at night. So we'll move on during the day. We have more work to look at. Uh, let's, uh, let's head over here. Some monsters conceal your hearts or stop you from moving. It's important to have gems or skills that increase your abilities, but ideally it's best to have a proper counter to debuffs. That's what she's for. How are you doing, Jarla? The best way to win a battle is making sure you don't lose. <laughs> Thank you for the expert advice. Hold on, let me write this down. The best way to ensure that I win is to not lose. Sounds simple, right? But think about it. If you don't lose, then that mean, must mean you win. Oh, now I get it. It's always so simple. All right, so we're gonna head around the outside. Mostly because I don't remember how many people are out here. Uh, most people aren't out here. This area is mostly pretty bare, but there are going to be some people uh, from time to time. Uh, usually without names, though. How you doing, citizen? You find nebulae in most places. When they're around, be careful with using ether-based attacks. It depends on their level, though. The nebulae respond to ether and come and join the fray. I can't tell if they really love ether or if they really hate it. It's worse than trying to understand women, am I right, fellas? Hi, woman. I went to Aerith Seat with my boyfriend to see shooting stars, and then I confused the fuck out of him just to play with him. I got hurt and swarms of nebulae attacked us. It was the worst date ever. So we're sitting here on our second date? <laughs> I need someone more accustomed to the great outdoors. Yes, an adventurer like Zane. Someone like him would make a much better boyfriend. If monsters attack, he'd be totally cool and protect me. Unlike you. And I'm just going to leave this awkward situation behind. And head out. Is that, that is somebody. Thought you were a post. Sorry about that. You fight together with your friends, yes? But it's not just you who does that. Monsters can battle together with their allies, too. Yeah, they can get a chain attack. It sucks when they get that. Monsters don't like it when you beat up their friends either. So while they look scary, they're kinder than you might think. Now I feel guilty about fighting with them. Yeah, you should see the massacre that I've done just to get here. How you doing, little Nelpon? Me really like drinking. How old is me? You rude. I older than you, Hom Hom. That was risky. Ricky that asked that. But there is a Nalpon who likes drinking but gets drunk easily. There, there is. I talked to him. Me hear of mysterious medicine to help you want less drink. Is it real? Me interested in it. Is it coffee? It's probably coffee. If me take that medicine, then me want to drink less. Even Little Pond know that drink is no good for you, but we do it anyways. I should give me a drink. Anybody here? No. Sometimes I hide around corners. How you doing, citizen? You know a girl, girl called Vidian? Uh, have not met her yet. 
She should be around here somewhere, though. She's an acquaintance of mine. Lately, she looks pretty down. I'm really worried about her. Are you that I want to do something to help her, but I've never spoken to her. What? What do you mean, that's not an acquaintance? She is an acquaintance, I tell you. I've seen her walking down the street for a long time now. That He's just going to leave it there? All right. See you, stalker. How are you doing? Try and lure distant or flying enemies towards you. It's fine even if you just throw a stone near their feet. Monsters are a big problem when they attack in large packs. But if you can fight them one at a time, it, then it's much easier. Me. Some monsters tend to move in group. Same thing. What? Oh, no, that was new. Hold on. Me. Hold on. We have to go through that again. So yeah, you're giving me similar advice to what I've recently heard. Some monsters tend to move in groups or packs. Watch out for these enemies. If you try and lure one over, they'll come over as a group. Do you follow? Not a single word, you say? Are you being serious? No. I, I don't understand sarcasm. I'm attending lessons to learn about something specific. Monsters. But to be frank, I simply do not understand a single word. One thinks that there is a problem with their teaching methods. Yes, one would think that. Was well, this translated from French? That is a problem with the French translation sometimes. They, they put the one when it really just means, like, do it. It's like an imperative. Either way, we're moving on. And hopefully we'll find some people out here. Like I said, it's pretty barren out here. But uh, during the day is a little bit better than the night, at least. I hope the three of us will always be able to talk together like this. Hold on, let me interrupt you. Let's make this threesome a sixth sum. That was a hard word to say, and I didn't see that one coming. I've never heard the siren except for drills and stuff. So when I heard it, I was scared and started to cry. I thought the other two would tease me, but they helped to calm me down. Me. I've never heard the siren, but yeah, we're, we've heard this. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, for the record, this thing over here, I always wanted to, like, board it. So I would, uh, one time, well, probably a couple times, I followed it to the end to see if they would let me on and it would just transport me across. Yet, yeah, no, it doesn't do that. It's just, it's just there for show. Unless I missed it. Entirely possible. But as far as I know, and I tried, you can't get on it. Try and be calm and just... And do it just like you did during the drills. If anything happens, we're here to protect you. It wasn't just her who was scared by the siren. Are you that what? Alright, okay, yeah. I don't know, for whatever reason, his was worried a little strange for me. And then the other guy says, I agree to them talking together like this. It's fine, there's no need to panic. As long as we have our defenses, Alchemoth will be safe. She started crying when she heard the sirens, but us two comforted her. Anything else? Nope, that is it. That is it, so we are ready to go. A little bit further on. Here, though, we should be able to find... Vidian. Vidian, hey. how are you doing? You are always annoying to find when I want to find you. Lighthouse manager Shaylin used to be my classmate. She always got good grades, always the top of the class. So I thought that she'd end up working at the Imperial Palace. But she volunteered to manage the lighthouse instead. Maybe it's because she likes the sea so much. Hey. Well, that's something. Oh, what should I do? I've apologized and yet she still won't forgive me. So what can I do? Maybe you'll be able to figure out something a little bit later. So here is the other end of the U-shaped platforms that lead you between areas. There is somebody here this time, so let's talk to you. When I think about it, I have a lot of confidence in my abilities, but recently I was careless. I went to the trouble of buying new equipment and then forgot to equip it. Me. That happens sometimes. I've had people point out to me when I've done it a couple times, and the one time I make such an oversight, what happens? I encounter a rare and very powerful monster. Was it shiny? I pushed myself to the limit and managed to defeat it. I'd be surprised if it wasn't me. What? 
Do we change translators mid-game? Feels like we did. All right, head all the way to the middle here, and we can see a new citizen hanging out. At last, I found a beefy ally. She is a woman, but she's really confident in her skills and dependable, too. Oh, it's the other person, isn't it? To celebrate our new partnership, I was thinking of giving her a gem. Maybe one that increases aggro when you do damage to a monster. Yes, hit her, not me. I bought this for you as a present. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm only weak and puny. Please don't look at me like that. He's only weak and puny, guys. Leave him alone. All right, are you the same woman? How's things? How's things? There's the... No, you're not. There's this scientist called Talia around, right? Once she gets into something, she ignores everyone else. If I was her colleague, that would drive me crazy. How's things? I hear Talia plans to depart once her colleagues get some results. I'm not sure exactly where it is she's planning on going, though. To explore uncharted areas? Or search for mystery, mystery creatures? Actually, that sounds like fun. I'd like to go along, too. Jealousy. It rears its ugly head once more. All right, there's a couple people hanging out here at the kind of bus stop, I guess. Kind of. Didn't actually stop, though. Hey, hey, what's with the siren? Just what the heck is happening on Prison Island? I want a full detailed report on exactly what's going on. Yeah, I'll give that to you pretty soon here. And that's all he has to say? Why, why do you get the report? I'll bet you were scared when you first heard the siren, right? <laughs> Relax. This place is far safer than your typical Homs colony. Ah, uh, that was rude, wasn't it? Sorry, I meant no offense. I meant a lot of offense, actually. Give me three points, I guess. But for the time being, we're going to kind of head past where I was. We will head over here. This place is important, so keep it in mind for later. Uh, there is a quest in here. Who's giving me the quest? Just a citizen. All right, that's fine then. That's fine. Yeah, this place is kind of important. It's possibly the hardest place to get to here in Alchemoth, or at least it's the one that takes the most time, but it is going to be important for quests yes. later. Have you ever spoken with Muriel? Her depth of knowledge about stars is worth respect. I'd like to sit with her under a starry sky and learn more. Now I think about it, there's another kid who likes stars. I think I have a rival. Oh no, a rival! Me. A Nopon gentleman once told me, if you look up at the sky from the very bottom of their sea, you can see the spirits of those returning to the Bionis. I wonder if you can see them when you go to Frontier Village. I was not told about this. My body feels heavy and I just can't stomach anything. I think I'm really quite sick. But if I can join my husband, then I'm not frightened. You guys speak with a funny accent and I can't quite place it. I don't have enough, I need more. I wait and wait for days, but it doesn't come. Ah, I can't take any more. And we get a collection quest. Collection quest one, the girl's stomach pains wouldn't be so bad if she had some nutritious food. Collect some collection items for her. Uh, we need three lots of gold burdock from Aerith Sea. Burdock, I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, 15,000 gold for getting that, though. The gold burdock's fiber is truly a girl's best friend. Can we not talk about fiber? I'm feeling a little bloated. Do you follow? It hurts! So go to Sea and get me some right away, please! Me. I'm not feeling too comfortable about this right now. I'd like to go somewhere to rest and recuperate. But she said she doesn't want to go anywhere. I think I should call a doctor Me. hey let's go and stuff our faces with some tasty food oh, I bet you think that I'm a tactless woman for saying that but I'm just being a good friend yeah that's one way to look at it hey. big news big news apparently it is possible to fly with our head wings but you have to really train hard I mean it's hard enough just to get them to move never mind flapping them so the Nopon can fly a little bit with their head wings. The Hyentia, though? No. And theirs are so much bigger. It's not easy to describe it. Can you wiggle your ears? It's hard, right? 
That's exactly what it's like. I can't move my ears either. I cannot wiggle my ears. Every time I try, I just look stupid. <laughs>